this is to happen I've got a goal plan Fuck school, too many distractions I always had a reaction For performing and rapping So I took my greatest step Build out my favourite test Do for myself to myself But I'm no longer stupid Use my heart to show the people That I'm the one that can do this So here I am now Yeah, the buzz of the streets You're the video first That you wanted to see What in the CD came second Now we're known in our section More shit's being made As you're deep in this record Yeah, we've got a heavy buzz But that's never enough I want the whole world to know That no one's level with us Yeah, this is just a start, man I'm taking it far, man You see, I want it all Like wild the dark, man I've got the heart, man You should be taking this far You ain't gonna cry Start being who you are And I'm definitely back, man Step my game up so she knows who I be You win an army fatigue, man, I'll never be seen But I've got a dope flow, just like Aberdeen I slap the scene, yeah, I'm waking her up Everyone's nose off, cause the flavour just sucks I'm playing so what, man, you're destroying the scene Oh, I'ma teach you a lesson if you toy my drink I'm the noise of this team, it's for my boys in the team If I get where I'm hit, I'll grab a groin to scream Man, I enjoy a better clean, yeah, I love getting king But I'd give it all up, then you chat up my name I give you thanks for my fame, don't know which rapper I came from Never ever think I'm better Cause we're all just the same son I'm strong-willed and skilled And filled with spirit Be a long road I'm told But still I'm gonna finish next And I'm definitely back, man In my text. I'm not a writer, I'm a writer Could be given a death I keep it so real, I spit it from my heart So you know how I feel Never ever wanna chill on your meals I'm eating my own down Straight to the bone, work hard on my music So you listen at home My ambition has grown and now I'm getting to you I have you locked on my rhymes, not letting you move Have I mentioned my mood? Man, I'm on top form I thank whoever something for removing my form I storm on MCs, they'll be thinking they're dope I ain't on that shit though, cause I'm here for you folks Quiet in the background, please. We're just starting the podcast. You were talking as we started. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. So, uh, that was a uh, Cheens with a track called For So Long. What well, I figured it would do because I've got the hard drive set up in here now and not in your fucking room. I've got all the mics on, by the way, where you can speak. Like I never did. <laughs> just no speaking at all. So, uh, because I've got the hard drive in here now, I decided we'll go through the hard drive and find out kind of excellent old songs we used to listen to. I'm going to say old, I mean like two years or something like that. Like classics for two years ago. So that was a teens with a track called For So Long, produced by Ikazel. Ikazel was probably one of the first people I've ever heard uh, in Scottish hip hop. Aye, aye, that's it. It was a tune called. Uh, right, I've got the song, I've got the song. It was him and. Um, uh, it was, uh, uh, well, Shut up! I could remember <clears throat> this. It was him and that guy for Dundee, I'm sure. West. West. Mm-hmm. I it. told you to shut up! You're taking too long. You're creating dead air. So aye, uh, BTN <laughs> News episode 5. Welcome. We've got Ronnie, Ronnie here who can regularly 
gets in touch in the chat box. And as I've written here, is a, an absolute cretin that listens to your show all the time. So, welcome, cretin. <laughs> I love how you're like not at the mic as well. I'm loving that. There you go. You're like at the side of the mic. There you go, perfect. So, uh, you're here to talk about some stuff. Uh, I got told. Aye, so did I. So, <laughs> so uh, you want to explain what things you would like to talk about or what we're doing? Could someone lead on here? Because I'm not do sure what I'm doing. With your life? Uh, I own a. Well, an a No. <laughs> I own an e liquor company for vapors. E liquor? Is that like a, a kind of newfangled kind of tipster Liquid. term? For? Liquid. 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 E liquor. Oh, I thought you said e liquor. Idiot. Cool. Welcome to the podcast. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, idiot. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. That's why I'm here. To talk mm. about that. Excellent, man. Excellent. Banter. And now, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> We're about finished now, that's it. So, I, uh, you like to talk a wee bit. Uh, no, fuck, let's go a wee bit deeper into the day, can it? Deeper into your e liquid. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> what can it, what's the process of actually making it? I know there's like a few different things. There's like glycerin and stuff like that you have to use. Yeah, there's use for like smoke machines and stuff, but you have to use like a, a natural kind of mere food based stuff. Yeah, um, <clears throat> there's four main ingredients. There's um, uh, there's vegetable glycerin, and there's PG, but I can't say that word. Right. So what is <laughs> it then? If, the if you explain what PG is, then without having to, do you know know what it is? <laughs> but I suppose I you need some of that. <laughs> if you kind of go near the cooker, like, I don't know. So. Um, it's just that it's an ingredient that's used in like um, same with VG, it's used in different stuff like food. Mm-hmm. Um, to like make the food and fizzy drinks as well, especially right. Coke. So I mean, it's stuff that the majority of people ingest every day, anyway. Ah, oh, um, but just in the, that kind of like a large kind of factor form sort of thing. So like a large bottle, you'll get it, sorry. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like you, we've we got um, like big massive jug. It's like five hundred liters. Jesus, right? And the one thing you can get them in like five hundred liters. Ah. Oh. I think that might be wrong. <laughs> That's like the size no. of a car. <laughs> I'm out of liquid. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's you get pills in five hundred. Five hundred mil, five hundred mils, sort of thing. Five hundred milliliters, sort of thing. Who cares? It's a fucking a big bowl <laughs> you've got cares, anyway. Fuck it. Right, um, and like it's just it's not. People are like, oh, it's bad for you and that, but it's not. Mm. You do get different grades of it. Like you get industrial grade, which is like grade E, oh. D. Yeah, D. And then it goes from A to D. So grade A is pharmaceutical grade, which is what we use, mm-hmm. which is perfectly um, harmless to inhale. Right. So uh, there's nothing wrong with it unless it's industrial grade. So where was <laughs> it? There's the PG... PG, VG, flavourings, and nicotine. Right. Which, so once again... I, I presume you didn't kind of get actual flavourings. I asked this beforehand, just to kind of get it covered, and she's no idea either. No, there's, there's a it's, it, it, it'll be a process of like drying something out, mm-hmm. and then it, like crushing it or something, and extracting the flavour of it. Right. But that's something that we don't really. We're going to need to find thing, looked into. somebody, a need, scientist. Uh, I have tried to look into it, but <clears> it's quite. So you've actually tried to Google it, and it's, it's no came up. It's properly. a difficult thing to. Fine, but in saying that, somebody will probably Google it now and Shit. find out in like three seconds. Right. Well, that's <laughs> I've never actually tried to Google it. I just keep asking people when they come in because I find it interesting. <laughs> and I've never, never actually taken the time to Google it. Because yeah. everybody says so like, making it as easy as fuck, man. It's totally easy, man. Then how are right. you there? Oh, take in. <laughs> you just get the flavour. It'll right? be, be like, the it'll probably be like quite a long process to get the flavours out of it anyway. Aye. but it's all safe stuff. I yeah. would imagine it'd be like squeezing things. <laughs> Like, you know, you hear the hydraulic press from oh, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I, that, I would yeah. imagine it would be that kind of process. Uh, you need to squeeze liquid it in mm. as, as opposed to drying it. I, remember. I would think drying it would be... Maybe drying it... Well, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. Uh, i seen a thing by Heston Blumenthal ages ago and it was like, you know, like, does like, he uses like, you know, proper science and puts like, fucking, yeah. like, mad shit in, in his food. Yeah, he's mental. He does a process that is like, like okay, cook all the food and then kind of you know, he like the meal prepared this is what he done like to make like a a whole meal chewing gum sort of thing 
Like it would have like oh, a yeah, big, yeah. big breakfast. Yeah, I've seen that. And then to get all the gear, it kind of just throws it onto a pan and boils it, basically. So it then collects all that fucking liquid that's been created for the flavourings. Yeah. And then kind of processes that. I don't know what the process is, but it processed it in a sense that you See, can that makes put it into a like chewing gum. a centrifuge or something. I would imagine that would be the sort of the same thing like you do with the liquids. Well, that, 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 that's uh, what I assumed would be the same thing, because this, you're creating a artificial flavour for some for chewing gum, so... Yeah, but I mean, like, if you do make your own flavouring, then your own liquid, like, you're mm. not making the flavouring. Ah, yeah. You're buying the flavouring in. Aye. That so would that's, take, not, um, that's not a step that we do, mm-hmm. or that's anybody it. will do unless... Ah. I'm just, would that be a separate company? Or just spat everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> would, that would be a separate company thing, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. You'd yeah. set up a company specifically to extract flavour. Is there a specific you'd... company you use for flavours, or...? Uh, I'm not entitled to disclose that. Alright. But uh, <laughs> there's a, quite a lot of companies. You'd be surprised how many companies sell bottles mm. of flavouring. Yeah. And it, it's, it's different to food flavouring. But there's like dozens of companies that do it. It's just mental. Uh, yeah. You told me it was you that brought up the toast. <clears throat> there's a company that's dedicated yeah. to toast flavours. Yeah. Like marmalade on toast and jam on jam toast. toast. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah. is... We, was it Cars or was it Ross that had a uh, Frosties milk? Aye, Frosties in the milk, milk you've got after you finish your Frosties. Yeah. yeah. It had that flavoured. Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. Could you explain this? I bought a strawberry flavouring. I'll let you see it. I've got it through there. It's a, okay. But it tastes like the leaves of the strawberry rather than actual strawberries. <laughs> that? I'll, let you, I'll let you taste it on it. It tastes like actual right, strawberry okay. leaves. You got your vapour hang with you? Yeah, of you got course. Me, yeah, I'll yeah. give you a taste. That's fucking awful. <laughs> I bought it thinking, oh, this will wean me off the fags. This will get me fucking sorted. And it just tastes like fucking leaves. It's awful, man. The leaves aren't the best bit of the strawberry either. No. Not at all. Not at all. I'm not a fan. I've never bought a bunch of strawberries and thought, oh, there's no leaves in it. Nah. I could do with some leaves. Strawberries and cream, I think, is overrated. No, no, no. no. I love strawberries and cream. I love strawberries and cream. You're both wrong, eh? Squishy cream or liquid cream? Squishy. Squishy. Liquid. I've got arguments for both. I think the squishy cream is perfect for on the top. Aye, after right? you've added mm-hmm. liquid. And then you can obviously mix it in and stuff like that as well anyway. It melts anyway. Aye, aye. But um, I think the actual liquid cream already mixed in. It has to be cold. You can't even fucking just use normal obviously. warm pish. <laughs> obviously. Uh, but aye, aye. There's, de- there's definite arguments for both now. I think they're both... No sure how we go on to this. We're, talk- <laughs> we're talking about flavours. Then we get on to food. That's what happens. That's what happens. Although, I, I, I say... And we've all got on to shite at some point as well because we're talking about food so that always happens. Oh, you always talk about shite. Let's, uh, let's try and get away from that for one podcast. I know, <laughs> I know strawberry and cream is a thing that I'm not a huge fan of because mm-hmm. sometimes the strawberries... Maybe it's just around here that the strawberries you seem to get around here are always shit. They're sour. There's always sour strawberries, but as occasionally mum will uh, get a pack, a, a punnet of strawberries. Punnet? A punnet. Oh, yeah. And uh, one will be uh, sweet and the rest will be shite. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why they like strawberries and cream, but I would imagine the flavouring uh, would be sweet strawberries. That's where I'm going to destroy you, because I think uh, <laughs> strawberries that are sour and I like the sweet ones as well, so I like both of them. I like both of the, the flavouring of strawberries. So do you get a, sewer liquids? I reckon you would manage. Yeah, yeah, I do, I, yeah we I we so. we do one. It's um sour like gummy worms, oh, like fuck, the sour gummy good. candies. That'll be good. Um, but it's a different flavouring, which is just sour flavouring. Oh. it smells amazing, and it's like it smells really sour, and it tastes good as well. Is it actually it's sour? Really right? weird. Does it proper make you? Yeah. Go? Well, <laughs> no, it doesn't make your face go like you've sucking a lemon. It's what just is that? that stuff's like lactic acid or something. You call that stuff? That, that actual sour Stephen's stuff. Getting fucking chemical. And oh shit. fucking! Stephen's getting chemical. Lactic acid. <laughs> it's like, lactic acid. It's like a, it's a powder. Yeah, stuff like Put on the, the, uh, yeah. the good shit. Lactic acid. Lactic mm. acid is in your stomach. Oh. so what's that stuff? I was thinking about then. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the actual stuff they put on the fucking? Well, on like sewers. Aye. Oh, what's okay. that stuff? There's like, like, any, like any corn flour consistency. Who cares? Fuck yeah, I just thought it was interesting. That they could so it, did, it doesn't actually make, be sour, it just seems like it's sour. It tastes of sour without your face looking like an arsehole. 
I don't understand how that works. No. Do you understand that? No. It's, I don't understand anything before they left <laughs> at this point. So. What do you say? Nothing. You might do. No, I just want right, so, so what's, no. what's your favourite flavour then? Uh, Ever. Scottish broth. <laughs> Shut up. Badly sugar. <laughs> Badly sugar. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's hard to like pinpoint one. Mm. Um, I can't. Really I would imagine the beer. Say one, one flavor. What, what's one you like then? Just one that I like. One, one that you really enjoy. that we do, or mm. just in general. Do you? You? Um, I do care about whoever else is. And just, you know. <laughs> That's fair. Um, chocolate milkshake's nice. Chocolate milkshake. Yeah, the Italian plumber. That seems basic. I thought you'd be like a a connoisseur. You take like a kind of mixture of flavors. Egg Benedict. <laughs> Oh, I like eggs. Oh, no, it'd be fucking disgusting. Omelette flavoured. Omelette, oh, God, no. Omelette flavoured. Baked potato. Baked potato and beans flavour. Oh, God. Baked totty would be totties in it. Fuck it. So, you want to talk about a wee bit about the EU as well and how it's going to affect. Yeah. This is what I got told. Okay, okay. So, right. Yeah. So, um, and how it's going to affect your, your shit. Uh, essentially, what it is, it's. um. Brussels think it's a good idea. Not the sprouts. <laughs> no, not Brussels sprouts. The place, Brussels. No. Uh, they think it's a good idea to um, make everyone limit and limited in choice. Mm-hmm. So um, <clears throat> the nicotine strength is coming down, which doesn't really affect us, or I'll assume a lot of people it won't affect, um, because the highest you can get is 24 milligram, right. which is like... That's like a chain smoker. It will like blow your head off. Oh, I regretfully yeah. tried one once. <laughs> well, would it be alright for again. somebody that is a, like a chain smoker? Like if Stephen tried it? Uh, uh, well, I'm not used to vaping. Mind I tried Rossi's one and I would die. But that's like, true. But we're talking about like just pure nicotine. Alright, no, the mixed no, stuff is like you pain. don't vape pure nicotine. No, 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 I can't. I'm, no. I'm just, I'm meaning oh. purely <laughs> on nicotine. One I've got through is like four milligrams or something. It's like, it's quite weak. Why the fuck yeah. did you buy that? It, yeah, it it really does just depend on the person. Because um, mm. like some people that will smoke like twenty a day will be perfectly fine on an eleven milligram, which is like you know you're hitting like oh. the middle mark there. Mm-hmm. Um, but that could be too weak or too strong for some people that are on twenty a day oh. habit. So it just depends. Like a lot of places, they will start like the majority of people off on like an eighty milligram or twenty milligram, which mm. is absolutely ridiculous. Is that <laughs> even way too much for? I mean, well, it, yeah. like I said, it depends on the person, mm-hmm. but they will um, advise you to start on a higher nicotine, right, even right. if it's not suiting you, because it, like, if it's too strong for you, it'll rip your throat out, and you get uh-huh. like irritation on your lungs and that, and it's just not good for anybody. So would you prefer folks started lower, and if they needed higher, to go up? <coughs> well, usually... Right for anything, a lot of things, Yeah, right? usually what... Um, Is that and also because they buy me at that point, because of... <laughs> <laughs> Business! No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, usually, like what we did Definitely was, um, you would like say, how many do you smoke a day? Twenty a day, every day. Um, and it's like, okay, uh, so I'll let you taste a liquid, pick a flavour. I'll put it in eleven milligram, mm-hmm. taste it. You can see it's way too harsh. It's killing my throat. Um, then you put them down to an eight, maybe. Oh, so they get to try it all before they. Yeah, the maj- I, I mean, I think every shop. If not the majority of shops, like you taste before you buy, and they would they would kin if it was too strong instantly. It wouldn't be, they wouldn't get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's like if like you started vaping. Uh, I know you don't smoke, but you started vaping, you can feel it, and like it gets like harshness on your throat, mm-hmm. and like you get irritation on your lungs, and you just feel heavy on your chest. I've had that. Uh... <laughs> not from smoking. Yeah, well, if you're vaping. You uh, he's, tried yes. that, he's tried that a couple of times. Like. Yeah, I, I bought it for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Okay. Uh, then, like, you can feel it if it's too strong for you. Uh. And it's just not. I got to a point where my throat felt like it was burning and I couldn't breathe in. And then my eyes started watering and I couldn't cough. <laughs> That's what happened to me if I'd in too much. But I was really trying to get high because yeah. the weed 
wasn't working. I reckon if I meant to be saying that, I was smoking. Yeah, weed. yeah, yeah. I thought we were keeping it like discreet. I, th- I think you can get away with it because it's, like, it's just in the past. It's not like uh, people are kind of worried. Well, oh, <laughs> it's only vaping in the house. So so because you know. I felt like I'd never been high before, I was really desperate to try and become high. Right. Yeah. I think uh, what happened with that was that the vape was kind of. I, 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 I don't know. too hot. Yeah, but like those vaporizers, they're completely different to like the normal ones. That, mm-hmm. well, so why do you send that shitty vapor? Well, I could tell I you. It's different. It's made oh. for a herbal vape, oh. and like you need to change the coil, like the wire in it. Mind, I showed you. Did you tell me about this? <laughs> I showed you as well. You were there as well. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, this is the, like the day before you bought it. Right. And uh, like, I showed you everything. I was like, that's the coil, and that heats up. Right. So you probably either like burnt it, like burnt the <laughs> the herbs, or the that coil. was weed. It was just seaweed. It's fine. Aye, right. it was a smoke. <laughs> you know, you know, we're getting fucked for it. So it might be that, but that's like completely different. Oh. To, well, fucking like, hot. I that, well, I could tell you for fucking. You, uh, you clearly didn't get that, did you? No, nah, no. Nah. I could definitely tell you that the following day when I used not the vape, I just made wee joints that I definitely did get stoned. So the weed wasn't the problem, it was the vape. But and you're probably using it wrong as well. It to, you, you to need mayor. Did Ross not say something about that? I think so, aye. Say I think. something about it burning the weed or something? I'm trying to kill it. I think it we was probably, We're probably just using it wrong. Maybe. Then probably. <laughs> highly, <laughs> like, highly possible even. Aye, aye. So I'll maybe try it again one day. <laughs> So you see, a bit of the UK regulations are kind of fucking up a lot of what you're trying to do, basically. Yeah, like they're bringing like the minimum, well, the maximum bottle size that you can buy is um, 10, 10 mils, mm-hmm. which is like really shitty for like the majority of people that vape, because yeah. like they'll have like drippers or sub tanks which really drink the liquid, mm-hmm. and it goes through pretty quickly. So that means they're buying more and spending more, and it's costing them more, and it's you know good for you though. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Also, she would need to buy more. She would also need to buy more bottles. She would need to spend. It would take longer to fill up three ten mil bottles than to take, fill up one thirty mil bottle. I would mm. imagine. Yeah, but the right? point. Yeah, but the point is, that it's just it's not convenient for people mm. to have like ten or five but ten let's, let's having five ten mil bottles in your pocket no. rather than like one fifty <clears throat> mil bottle. But let's be honest, you don't care about what's convenient for them. You own a business. Yes, I own a business. So, realistically, you didn't, you didn't really care how convenient it is for people that are buying for you. Surely, like, uh, if people are buying, like, they're having to buy, like, a multi-pack of 10 million bottles, surely that's better for you in the long run, sort of thing. Because they're buying, having to buy that, can you... In that sense, they're having to buy the. You don't have to pretend bottles. that you're an ethical business. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's <laughs> you are also trying to sell stuff. Well, right? I mean that. I mean it is. It is true, but then there's like going to be like um, tax put on top of that, like VAT mm-hmm. or more. So it's going to cost more, and then it's going to put a sh- like a a, uh, a strain, if that's the right word, on people to like buy more of the stuff mm-hmm. that's costing more. So then uh, it could be, and then there's more competition between so us they, vendors, so, you know what I mean? So basically, uh-huh. basically they can only, uh, if these taxes are bad enough, they can only really afford to buy two 10 mil bottles as opposed to one 30 mil bottle, so you're making less profit and you're putting in more work, is that the kind pr- of thing? Or well, force themselves into making their own sort of thing and putting everybody out of fucking businesses making the 10 mil bottles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm all up for like people making their own stuff. Mm-hmm. But as long as they buy stuff for you as well, to start off. <laughs> I'm a lot for people making their own stuff. But mm. at the same time, it's like you know, like we've spent like a lot of money getting this business set up, and mm-hmm. we've been doing it for like about a year and a half or so ish. And it's kind of like we need the customers to keep to be allowed to stay in business. Oh. here's a suggestion to get people going to your website. Why do you know of our a write up? For people to learn how to make their own liquids. <laughs> they can well, since well, you're not you bothered, mean? since you're up, since you're trying to fight for the the convenience of the customer, you could offer services and a tutorial on how to make their own liquid. So the oh, well, I mean, like a lot of vendor sites do do that. Like the big vendor sites, like um, like bigger stores. 
they well a couple of them that I've seen do have a make your own section on their website mm. so it's not like we're keeping it from them and like a few um, customers of mine have come to me and be like I want to make my own can you help me and I'm like yeah sure mm. like A, B and C this is this and that and the next thing so it's not like we're trying to bullshit or keep it from people so mm. so w- would you offer that on your website or a write up of the tutorial or sort of step by step guide well, I mean, like, our. <laughs> if people want to know from us, mm-hmm. then, like, they know us because most of our customers are on Facebook and online. Then they can just come to us, which, like I say, a couple of them already have. So that, it's not a problem. Like, I'm not going to be like, well, I'm not telling you because <laughs> then you'll still give me money. So that's thing, a no. You know? <laughs> not, on, not on the website, no. Right. right. It's not something we'll be looking for. We finally got there. She was keeping it, yeah. keeping it laid back. <laughs> I was, I was trying to give a more extensive <laughs> explanation. I'm no, you want not accurate. <laughs> I should get into politics, right? <laughs> Skipping the question. That's fantastic to see somebody that's not <laughs> political, kind of try to guard their secrets as they're going along. It's it's a fucking capitalist slave, man. <laughs> Shut up. You and Carve have got an amazing. You capitalist fucking swines. <laughs> God, madness. So I, there was a, the EU, we spoke about there, yes. uh, the Korea. What, um, let's talk about your flavours, because we talked about this. Because we've not spoken about your flavours uh, yet. Okay. We spoke about it briefly. Yeah. The, your Korea, was it rock music and others, what is it? It was rock and game themed. Rock and game themed. So yeah. you were talking about a, uh, because I asked you just, right, how the fuck do you decide, if, like if you've got like Metallica in or Sandman, how do you figure out that's definitely a butterscotch ice cream? How do you get to that point? That's a fucking well, big question. Well, first of all, mm. <laughs> our Enter Sandman is blueberry pancakes. Right. Idiot. So, well, that, well, that's what I'm saying. I'll add in the kids. <laughs> well, it's like, like I said to you, it's like some some flavours and some of the names just kind of mm-hmm. automatically go. It sounds no. ridiculous, but it's like Italian plumber is chocolate milkshake. I would not have got that. No. Because I, I, I might not say that it would be like a tiramisu, I would have thought about it. What the fuck's a tiramisu? It's like You're a no coffee culture, dessert so just thing. Shut up. Right, okay, we'll explain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, you have like a list of like names and a list of flavours, and it's like, mm. right, well, we do this one, that one. Sometimes it is just like, right, so we've got three left, let's just mix them up, whatever. And but just, some of them do go. Like, it's, but on the website, you do have a description of what the flavour actually is. Obviously. Oh, so yeah. you've got that there. I didn't realise that. So I've, I've, I've yeah, yeah, like you click on the thing and it's like. Um, so you've got the, everything there. Italian plumber is like chocolate milkshake. Um, mm-hmm. Hedgehog, the blue hedgehogs like pear drops, kind of thing. It's like we do either. have the. <laughs> what would you? Have, bad what, examples. What would you have had it like? Flies for Sonic. Flies. Blueberry would be. Uh, we we have a spiral that's dragon fruit. There you go. That makes sense. That makes sense. That one. <laughs> Why didn't I say that? Have you ever tasted dragon fruit? I've never fucking. I, I thought oh, it was it's made, good. A mythical it's, a, it's good. It's a good vape. Ah. You got a wee? Uh, you bought a selection of fruit? Yeah. Oh, well, sure. They're in the kitchen. We'll try them. Was that a, for us to try them, or was that because you like them? Well, it was because I brought my vape and. Well, we're drinking, and. Mm. Yeah. Sure, People. you can try them. <laughs> if, you, if you want. I tried Rossi's one and it was a pure fucking... I imagine yours is going to be a pretty professional kind of massive box of fucking vapour stuff. Of course. Is that so not a I, free one you got for your... for your work? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. It was a gift. Mm-hmm. It wasn't from my work, it was a gift. Fair oh. enough. Well, well, it was... <laughs> <laughs> I was it looks like Craig's trying to get down to the fucking deep and dirty secrets here. And I was like, you didn't pay for it, you got a free... No, I wasn't just saying that, I was just, I was just saying you that. You got free as... for a capitalist market or something. Oh, I, 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 thought it I thought it was it was from her first work, mm-hmm. where she got a gift to help try out the, the things. Oh, yeah, kind of like that a... That was a good thing, I thought. research kind of thing. I so thought it was a nice thing. No, 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 no I got it off my uh, business partner. All yeah. oh, right, right. Because he's got like three and I was like, give me one, is all right. He's got too much. <laughs> capitalist <laughs> marvellous fucking <laughs> you have a problem Craig with capitalism capitalism okay, man. It's, it's quite bad I also have the same problem but I'm not quite as out there with it that's because you didn't care what capitalism is Steve. why are we even talking about capitalism because you're a capitalist swine have you just decided that yeah you own a business as a capitalism is profit over people right anyway enough of this shut up let's get into this fucking song <laughs> <laughs>
some heavy duty, get it ruin you up and then I boot you. Never met a gun, I did me why I used to kill and shoot you. Point it in your face and watch your heart attack for entertainment. Blow your thoughts, all your dementia, tarmac, a Glasgow pavement. Send you to the afterlife through ritualistic sacrifice and wet my appetite for some sadistic killing bastard shit. You're half my height, can he hold a corner to the graph to write the facts of life? You need a NASA flight to block my satellite. A damaged fucker, master craftsman, colder than the average worker. Want a murder, pay me off a new and Bob's your daddy's brother. Stock unmarried mothers laying cabbage in the savage got a launch my brand of thunder get the last half of my cash and stuff up deep into the underground distorted by the sun exposure still I satisfied my thirst for blood and got my money kosher darkness screams my name and pulls me in waste magnetic pleasures I can't escape despite my willful energetic efforts the world's my stock and grinding yous were only half invited so I want the rest of are wearing red like man united pierce your skin with sharpened steel hammer in your hardened parts then beat your broken body into liquid juice and martial arts I put the evil in me knew it rages when it hits the surface the instructions came with a purchase fuck it the risk was worth it my bones ache as I wake to the taste of cold pavement MOG Rogue agent drifting through the underworld Sipping blood at my leisure I've no reflection like vampires and cuts me amnesia Tap of the leaderboard, the slaughter of the continents The streamers rolled, the bleeders pulled a massacre So awesome it should be a dope Cloaked in mystery, history open to interpretation Seems only yesterday I was smoking in my parents' basement Now I'm trailing innocent shadow boxing the demon in me Slowly desecrating the hollow blocks of the people's city I roam at night depressed, somewhere between life and death which incidentally I'm the opposite you might have guessed I fight for rest, wander the maze holding a riot shield A dodgy place where the inhabitants get violent with steel All consuming hatred triggers off a transformation My hands are shaking in my cranium and back I'm shaping I lose all sense of reason and fill up with rage The only thing that's on my mind is sending cuts to their graves Vampirical thriller, a damn serial killer Can bust the dust if you come near me with silver they love what I say, but they'd be disgusted with what I do. The blood that I crave barely keeps my evil hunger at bay. They bounty hunt me with crucifixes and wooden stakes. Who determinate me for all the victims I put in graves? It's raining holy water, attic cover underground, but heats with creatures of the night. Don't fuck with me, I'm under for fun. So much I challenge myself to a brutal epic battle. Through my fist relentlessly until I heard the death rattle. Cunch can step on up in one by one, I'll send them all to hell. Can he be beaten even if I face the sun of God his cell? It took the world turning its back on me to fuel my fury. Now I dip my horns and shards of broken glass and push them through you. Yeah, that's a nasty cut you've got. Allow a cunt to fuck your throat with half a snooker chew then fill your windpipe up with super glue. I'm murderous. Dana Wavy, you good night and ridden. Sociopathic, semi automatic inside my mittens. Toying where my pray for days. I starve them to their shits thrown in. Warning foes come near my heated blade and wear a fit long grin. You're far too close, you best back up. You want to lose your life. I'll fucking traumatize you, sodomize you with a butcher knife. Serial assassin, a mask in a wooden weapons chest. I only feel alive when I'm galloping into certain death. Once I'm triggered, then they on their feet can end up six deeper. I'm a sick creature claiming more souls than the Grim Reaper. Useless to society, but thriving in a bloody brawl. I'm undiluted anarchy, a five. A living chucky doll Take a breath or two I've got some news that will depress your crew I'll maybe spare a few But all the rest of you are residue Day by day I hear the hate get bolder Or because my skill's rich Chill bitch Or I'll hit the fucking kill switch I roam at night depressed Somewhere between life and death Which, Which incidentally I'm the opposite You might have guessed I fight for rest Wander the maze Holding a riot shield A dodgy place where the inhabitants Get violent with steel All consuming hatred Triggers off a transformation My hands are shaking And my cranium and back I'm shaping I lose all sense of reason And fill up with rage, the only hang it so my mind is sending cuts to our graves. The words I use got a power to them. Power now. They're not just words. They're true. I only told them the truth. As for following well, that seems to be what they do best. And all they have to do is take one more step. And I'll kill them all. She, I told you it had a happy ending. Right, we're back. That was some fantastic daytime music. It was it. So done. My so done. My coloured bastard shite. It was very cheery. Easily my favourite. So done. you a fucking butcher knife or something. Ah. <laughs> Welcome, kids. Uh, <laughs> Child uh, friendly. <laughs> that's why I thought it was a fantastic tune. Uh, so I. What the fuck are we doing? Right there we go. Uh, you want to do the what the fuck thing first? It's your what the fuck thing. It's no real rant. I've just wanted to talk about. It. We're going to kind of go through it. So, uh, so we have to go through this fucking terrible. Uh, welcome to what the fuck? What the fuck? Yes, <laughs> love it. That's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> that is so terrible. That is fucking amazing. I love it. So, uh, basically, I wanted to talk about Top Gear. Uh, okay, I kind of doesn't interest a huge amount of fucking people. But uh, Top Gear is a thing I've watched for years and years. I, d- I didn't watch it when it was like first Jeremy Clarkson 
uh, and then kind of Harmon got brought on, and then I kind of watched it for the period. They started to get really, really big. Right, maybe like past like five or six years ago or something like that. And that's when I first started to watch it. Like, yeah, that's when I when watched it. Was it. Yeah. And uh, so I we kinda of watched it for all the time and it was like it was getting really, really fucking good. Of course Jeremy fucked it by punching one of his workmates. <laughs> it was a fucking argument. <laughs> eh? It was a fucking argument. I didn't even know punch. Get it. What it was a fucking punch. It was one punch. Was I it, know, I know. Was it not that you wanted hot food but the hot buffet thing closed like three hours earlier? Oh, and then he was so like, should, we can't so get you hot food. And he was like, fucking boof, you can't. Right, so there you go. So you should have been sacked because he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> or really, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah, he should before. have been sacked instantly. Ah, um, absolutely, right. So he, fu- so he fucked the whole thing up for everybody. <laughs> and of course, the producer. You didn't punch a producer. Ah, and the Hammond, producers are your friends. Ah, and Hammond and me decided they weren't going to come back on board because Jeremy was in the party. Yeah. Which... I think it's fair. Which I think is absolutely fair. Nah, they're, totally. I mean, they're not going to go without it, weren't they? They're like best mates it. and shit. So they decided... I uh, didn't think it was that. I think it was just they would understand that it wouldn't be the same dynamic if they got an air oh, yeah, club presenter. I think yeah, it would be, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they weren't sick. comfortable with doing it someday. But they've got the Grand Tour now, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some making money off it. officially <laughs> called the Grand Tour. What's this? This is the show they're making with Amazon. Oh, they're making a fucking oh, new show? You? Are you top gear? That? This new top gear show. I knew they were making a new Top Gear show style thing. I didn't know can they had a name in this yet. <laughs> oh, this in. is this is fantastic news. It got named like last week. Jesus, I had no idea. You kept no that idea. Quite well, it's called the Grand Tour. Basically, yeah. they start in a country and then they come back to the UK. Right. Is apparently what it seems to be. Right. So and it's they just do like, that every week. Right. So it's By just car. basically what they've done there. No. In Tokyo. They come and buy plane. Oh, shut up, Craig. And boat. An automobile. Oh. Right. I mean, I presume they'll start in a, co- they'll start in a country, have a oh, car that's made in that country, done before, and then fucking... drive to the UK and see if it opens yeah. up. But that's... I would imagine so. Yeah. It sounds quite shite, but interesting at the same time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <because> they, <laughs> they need you know a mean? good show. They need Ham and James May and Jen McClarkson to be yeah. on TV together. Yeah. I saw they need, they need a good concept. Oh, yeah, that's, I, I think that's part of people's... They're going to make millions of it. Anyway, though. Have they? The top Have they? Crew, crew, when was yes. this? Me and you, I don't know, I stay here. This was uh, <laughs> a few years ago. They drove through Kennaway. They huh? drove past the shopping centre. Oh. And uh, you saw the old school on Top Gear. You're Jesus. so chuffed. Was that on the face. one that they, they went to... <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a wee fanboy here. Is this one who went... <laughs> That's the one who went to knock hell. Okay. Oh shit. Well, I've done that. that wee fan boy. I remember that. someday. <laughs> someday I was at high school with <laughs> Shane. Uh, the fact. So happy that you saw them driving yeah. past. Yeah. Okay, oh, you could have been lying then. No, no, no. No. No, no, no. It, it was actually on the, the TV video. show. It was on the TV show. Yes. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, like it's quite exciting. Like, I mean, I see, like, Edinburgh on the news a lot, and it's like, oh my god, I've been in that street. I've oh. been, it's quite exciting seeing you places see, you've like, been. I did that with Glasgow all the time as well. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you saw Bonnie Rig, though, that would be different, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's like, Fancy holy shit. Edinburgh City Centre, oh, right. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it, is quite, it is quite exciting on, like, a really mm-hmm. sad, pathetic level. <laughs> and, Come on, man. And, and it's like Kennaway. There's nothing in Kennaway. Oh, it is quite a shite home, I'll be oh, honest. No yeah. offense, no offense. You've Denny, the Kennaway. Absolutely offense. This is. We know it's a shit place. That's, we're always talking about being a shit place. So then it's no offence and I'm causing no offence. Exactly. You've been like to two places in Kennaway and you're already kind of a shite hole. It looks yeah. like a shite hole. I mean, like, if you look out to the fields, it's quite nice. And you even turn around and it's like a fucking... Even when it's sunny. I mean, like I said, the fields are quite nice. And you turn yeah. around and it's like, ugh. Well, but it's a couple of... I said, I look called fat <laughs> by a child. It's not exactly a nice place, <laughs> is it? Pretty much. Fucking wee midget bitch, man. Go and tell the story again, Craig. Oh, the story. You want to hear the story again? I want to hear the story. I was up the street away to collect this year, right? That's mm-hmm. me. And uh, I was sitting on the wall, just minding my own business, <laughs> waiting for it to be 22, right? And this fucking ginger, sweaty, fucking cunt blister walks past me with a stupid wee bairn. And the bairn starts laughing at something and points towards me. And I'm like, oh, it must be pointing at something behind me. It just looks like it's pointing at me. You should be more paranoid. And then she was like, hey, he's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Whoa. you cheeky bastard. And her mum, as opposed to saying, oh, I didn't see that, that's, that's terrible, we'll leave the boy alone. He's just sitting waiting for somebody. 
She went, oh no, let's go. <laughs> oh no, let's go. <laughs> Teacher Sorry, made can... some fucking manners, you fuck. It's cunt. still funny. I've, we've heard the story about three times and it's no, still funny. It's still, still pretty fantastic. Fucking cheeky bastard, man. Are you alright? This, this is the sort of thing you should be adding okay? to Top Gear this year. For this season. What? <laughs> this is, just to get back on the Top Gear for a minute, if we can. <laughs> They should Stay hire us as a presenter. What? What? what, what <laughs> thought you really? car drive. <laughs> <laughs> they've done wee things like the, they they've got like a lot of the original writers that wrote a lot of the reviews and stuff like that for the cars, and they, they're doing. Uh, Chris Evans is actually putting on like a, a kind of Jeremy Clarkson esque routine. So a yeah. lot of the time, it's re- it's quite embarrassing sometimes to hear that. And they, uh, Matt and Chris have no chemistry so far. What did Matt? Why did Matt get this job? Is it just because he's Joey for friends? No, no, he'd been on Top Gear a bunch of times before. I mean, and like, he hosted a DVD and shit like that as well. Oh, That's why they asked him. Oh. I've, I've not seen it, but I, pres- I presume it's still um, filmed like in the same, same place. Same studio in that, aye, aye. Are all the presenters American or is it just him? Just him, just him. Why have they got an American if it's a British show? Joey, <laughs> eh, Joey, fucking hell. Mark LeBlanc had been on the show a few times. He'd done like the reason they play price car thing. Yeah. He, he'd done an air few things in like in the background. Yeah, but I mean like. I the mean, he's But this is the thing. He hosted a DVD for Top Gear, a Top Gear DVD, mm-hmm. basically. Yeah. So once they knew that he, Hammond and May never bring money coming back, the producers got in touch with Mark LeBlanc because he, he stays in London quite a lot. So they were like, um, "You want to actually just be on the show?" So that's why they've done it. But it's just awkward having an American. I think it's fucking fantastic. I want to be taking the piss <laughs> with fucking UK and all shit. I really things. do want. I'm you want? You've still got a fucking a queen for the medieval fucking uh, looking after all your wills. Fuck off. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> Crazy. Well, that would be good. That would be, be fantastic. But people would be Come offended. Here. What's this? Steak pie? I what the fuck is this? The real last, food, is it? It would not last. More than a season. No, because they want us to be distant Mexicans. We've no Mexicans, Aye. but they want us to be taking the piss out of Mexicans. I like the piss no oh, get the Jews, Jeremy. Get the fucking Jews on the go. Fuck the Jews. The Muslims Mental. as well. Get the Muslims. It's like they're no happy with a car again. show unless there's some fucking racism in there. <laughs> because people that are into cars are fucking racists. I see that. Fuck it. I love cars. I love racists. <laughs> ah, but you're not a petrol head. You're not an actual cunt. I used to be. No. Nah. I should want to be an engineer. Did you? I'm a mechanic. 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 Yeah. So. But my mother was like, no, that you're right. a girl, you're not a lesbian, no. <laughs> so then I made bad life decisions, decisions after that. Yeah. And now she owns an e liquid company. There you go, there you go. And tries to corner. Uh, so I don't know if anybody realised, but I tried to be a dear Jeremy Clarkson, and I tried to be offensive by saying all people that like cars. She said, cunts. gas the Jews. Did you say <laughs> that? Did you hear that? <laughs> I didn't mention that. Right, Jeremy, fucking calm yourself. <laughs> I think she beat you in the be offensive top prop. I never heard that. I, I was, thought was, nobody was heard it. I was just like going to myself. <laughs> we'll hear about it in the podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because I haven't had to listen, but um, it's quite enjoyable. Yeah. So I uh, took gear basically. Yeah. Uh, they've obviously they've no fucking chemistry yet, but they've only done one episode of the program. Yeah, but I mean, so like, why would you get three people that aren't friends or? know each other in real life or have Jeremy, a connection and Jeremy and Richard and James didn't have any connection they were not pals they, yeah they but like they've got chemistry you they know what I mean like they, they're they like cut, they, they moved were, together they right. were cast at three different seasons oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> James, James May to be fair was a auto trader a car reviewer and, so and he, in fairness James May also did work on Top Gear for 1999 he just wasn't a presenter until the was he? 2000 what was he? Three or something like that, but a researcher, reviewer. Probably finding cars then, because he's uh, an engineer. I, I, I can't even be wanting for an trader for a good while. Like, just reviewing. Bear in mind, though, so that information I just got for James May was a Wikipedia thing. Right, uh, so it's probably so wrong, probably let's move on. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> but it does say he was working there for 1999. Ah, it's interesting, man, interesting. Ah, totally so interesting. So fucking, ah. I'm so interested right now. <laughs> <laughs> so interested, motherfucker. But um, I, uh, I thought the show went no bad, man. They've also got a new track as well. Oh. Like the, track, like the, track. the tracks, well, it's the same track, obviously, but there's actual dirt tracks, and they've right. got like a new car. It's like an rally spec car yep. as well, rather Some than money. a reasonable. Oh, uh, but it's a rally spec. Oh, thing, you, oh, you in race track? I thought you meant. All right. Oh no, they've got like, they've got the normal <laughs> what track. Do you think? They've got, Let's uh, move on. <laughs> <laughs> they've got the original track, the track the way it was, but they've also added dirt sections to the tracks. Why? 
Because it's fucking better. They've got a jump and a big water section and shit like that as well. Really? The celebrity's going to have much more fun doing that rather than going down the track. I need to wash the That's my fucking argument anyway. Yeah? How's it going to do when it's wet? That would be more fun, wouldn't it? That would be much better. And you'd spin out like a car. Exactly. Like, yes. You'd be like, fun, oh, they'll Steve. be like, oh my god, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> so what the most celebrities dying? Yes. Oh. All them, all the celebrities, even the ones I like. But you should, a, you should uh, YouTube that shit. There's a lot of shit on YouTube. Uh, the celebrities dying. Ah, uh, we can look at it later, guys. Don't worry. There's a, there's a video of Tommy <laughs> Cooper dying. By the way, you seen that? Oh, I've seen that. I've seen that oh. dozens of times. I, 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 I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. Tommy Cooper dying. <laughs> I didn't realize it existed until about a month ago. I just seen. Yeah, Tom Gagan and really? fucking. I, 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 I thought it was like a live. I knew it was on like live TV, yeah. and obviously, but I thought. But you never thought about it. You were like, yeah, whatever. I, I thought they would probably cut it out or something. Like there was also an execution that was found on live TV. I think it was Venezuela or Brazil or something. Mm-hmm. It was the first lethal injection. Oh right. shit! In that country, and they said in order to prove that it's a humane way to die. <laughs> it's it's, it's not it like, like burned you from the inside Aye, and all, because at this time the science was shite and for some yeah. reason the science is still shite in America yeah that they think it's a safe humane way to die it's America Aye. <laughs> enough said but they thought they'd put this first execution on fucking live TV Christ. so this guy's final words were to fucking video cameras and shit like okay. I'm about to die like give me some privacy you nervous wait, 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 wait. is this on YouTube I would imagine it's on YouTube I've not seen it no check that out. Do you mm-hmm. want to have like a <laughs> murder, suicide, live TV execution? Well, he loves a uh, Rob <laughs> Dyke to watch. Oh, I love He's, Rob Dyke. Rob Dyke's fucking amazing. You, I, don't, oh. I didn't quite love him in the same way I think you're going to be about. She's annoying though because she sent me oh, a me? dark top five <laughs> YouTube ch- channel thing. Oh, I don't like a love yeah. at night. No, 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 no. Oh. No, no, no. Right. What, what I sent you was, um, it was like prisons. From like 1903 and shit. Mm. And like, oh, because we're away. talking about paedophiles and she wants them to be tortured in prison. Right. And I didn't agree. You're taking oh, right, this out right, of context. Right, right. Right. Let's not get into paedophiles again. Again. Wrong. I'm not wrong. I've got two different opinions. Both wrong. But I've got two different opinions and you didn't like it when I made it personal to you. So let's move on. If you don't have an opinion. Right. Fucking idiot. Anyway, she sent me anyway. this. I fucking love this. <laughs> she sent me this uh, YouTube thing. And... The it, first one, the one you sent in fairness was all right. No, no, no. It, it was, it was. I think it was, it was something like um, the it was ten medieval prisons. Yeah, the ten most worst medieval prisons and some shit. And it was people like in boxes, like four foot wide and three foot high, high. Like that from like the Matilda. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, aye, aye. <laughs> and like the Iron Maiden like, thing. Uh, no, no, no. It was like no, the, no that's the Iron Maiden's well made. Sorry. I was just terrible. I was like, yeah, and then it was like people in like sewers and all this shit for until just until they like starved to death. Hmm. It was quite good. That one in the and the ship was cool. <laughs> well, not cool, wasn't it cool? But no. it was just they were just in the bottom of a ship. No, you need to. All right, I thought you said shit. Oh. Do you think you said shit yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I thought yeah. you said shit. Like, <laughs> right, sorry. You, you need to. And That's why we were laughing uncontrollably. The bottom of the ship. Right. They were just left to wade about in the rain, shit, and pish and rot, and water for the sea, Jesus. and they yeah. just left to die in there. It was mental. Because then they were chucked <laughs> <laughs> well, after that, <laughs> after they died, they were just like, oh, we're just chucking them aboard. Like, they would live if you chucked them aboard when they were alive. And if they did live, they'd be on a fucking island somewhere. That's, a, that's a lot of kind of medieval logic, though. A lot of that Aye. dumb shit was done at that time as well. Fucking oh, oh, well, it's like punish them and torture them more than anything, Aye. right? Mm. But then, obviously, because when you get sent one good video, you go on the, the actual channel. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then it's the darkest, creepiest. Who was so, that? Was that Rob Dyke as well? No, no, no. No, it wasn't. It was like, very dark or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. I think the channel's called Top 5. I'm not Aye. sure. Right, right. But it, it's like it's the most mysterious videos ever published on YouTube or something. How do you not like this shit? I watch that shit as no, I, no, I, I, as I fall shit, asleep. But not at like one o'clock in the morning. Because <laughs> then I'll hear nightmares. But I already hear nightmares like every night. <laughs> shit, it's the creepypastas that get me. I, 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 I genuinely watch this shit as I fall asleep. Because I can't sleep in nightmares. silence. I can't sleep in silence because like my dreams are like mental. Let's not go in there. I, I, I was sitting <laughs> but, up one night and watched one of these kind of things and it was like yeah. a top five creepypastas. Yeah. They're and creepy. I was like, there's nothing to do with fucking spaghetti, by the way, if anybody's going to bring that in the comments. But uh, 
because that's the kind of levels the people we have listening. Cool, to just yeah. The, uh, there was a creepy pasta with uh, there's a wee guy sitting on his bed, and his dad comes in. And he's talking. Oh, there's somebody under my bed, or something like that. And then fucking the guy goes to look under the bed, and he says, "Oh, there's somebody on my bed." I was like, "Fuck that! <laughs> Fuck that!" That was, was a creepy fucking. I thought it was under the bed. The bear on the bed. Oh, I'm going to explain this. The bear on the bed. <laughs> Say to the dad, there's somebody under the bed. So the guy went under the bed to check, and the, the bairn was under the bed and said, there's somebody on my bed. Right, that's weird. Right, well, that's I heard that at like twelve, like midnight. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I mean shit, that one. Did you get any more of that story, or because I'm thinking, all right, the no, kids, the kids having a laugh. He's the, been a the, dick. They made it like it was a visual fucking thing. It was like visual and shit. There's a, oh, made it I love the visual one. Oh, the, the one with the clown. No. I hate clowns. Aye, well, well, clowns get you, but that didn't they? My creepy past that I just told you. No, 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 no. That like was shy though. I thought it was fucking scary because there was pictures and shit. You'd slap the bear. <laughs> Stop fucking about. I'm no, a shut the fuck up. I'm prick. a bitch when it comes to that shit, man. The no. one was a. Uh, th- there was a babysitter looking after two kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a uh, she she was trying to put the kids to bed. Oh yeah. And there was a a toy clown staring at her, and she phoned up the parents to ask. If uh, she could put the clown in like a cupboard or something, yeah. because it was a uh, freaking her out, and she mm. didn't know what to be looking at anyway. And the parents told her instantly, what clown? "Get the kids and uh, get the house because they've not got a clown." And so, I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll, sh- I'll show you this video. Cause it's creepy as fuck. Mm-hmm. It was it was in America, obviously, and it was like this um, this guy or group of guys, whatever. Um, he like dressed up as a clown, like the happy face and oh. like creepy shit, <laughs> like stereotypical creepy clown. Mm. And he would like go like on porches and just stand in the middle of the street and like. Oh, dude, th- it was they like, were, like staring for Wendy's and oh no, that's a British guy. That's no, like, a guy no. in the UK that's happening oh, yeah. right now. Fuck. Holy shit! What? Oh shit! You heard about that? No. Oh no, she <laughs> hates clowns. She hates clowns. Let's There's a guy her. in the UK. Yeah. Who's. Been seen staring at people and looking through windies and shit. Oh, there's pictures so people, of the people at their windies and taking fi- pictures of the guy just staring in. Like it's in England. Like, in England, it's no close to here. It's in England oh. somewhere. Something. Why does weird shit always happen in England? I mean, no, Scotland's quite a shite hole. The majority of places. Uh, I think people are like. <laughs> I mean, the, what I we got was a the pedo in the black car at Halloween. Are they kind of existed? Oh, yeah, I bet you just probably a, just had, a made up story. I bet you probably yeah. had the guy in the black car as well. Well, we. <clears throat> we had the Marseille pond story a few years ago. Oh, That's like a there's, there's a bottomless <laughs> pond, and there's like a fucking <laughs> okay. There's like a there's a, there's a chariot still for it. Uh, there's a chariot and some guy that's like trying to find his wife, <laughs> and it's still oh. fallen to this day in the water because it's a bottomless. Oh. Fuck off. Yeah, totally a bit too fit deep. I bet you believed that when you were younger. Oh, totally I did. Believe I, I that. Completely totally believed it. Percent, hundred percent. I still dig in where I believe it or not. <laughs> There used to be the thing where I make sure that he fall on my shape because it sucks you down. It oh, yeah. grabs you and it pulls you down. You go into the depths of hell. It makes absolutely 100% logical sense. Aye. It really does. <laughs> when you're about eight. Aye. Then, then, oh, fucking hell. It's shite, man. It's mental. <laughs> uh, so from Top Gear to Creepypastas to our shitty story about the Mars <laughs> Pond. Fantastic. So uh, we're actually about to finish, man. Have you not got a... Yeah. Uh, We've no got an arm finally. I could get you one. Well, I think Play the Wayne. Thing. There's no arm finally thing. Oh, and finally, Sing so professional. Bring ding ding. Just go. Ding. Shut up. Please. Michelle Keegan rocks a relaxed look as she enjoys a day out with her lookalike brother Andrew in Manchester. Cool. Michelle Keegan was out with her pal. So uh, that's the end of podcast, guys. So the and, uh, podcast, <laughs> Thanks very much. Peace. Well, jamming. Uh-huh. I'm a star fucker, keep my slash car covered when my dad stab my brother. Rag tag motor with a large shop car, still swapping my tunes for a mass bar supper. Yes. My man shag the plumber, so my dad plucked up. There's no getting me down, I'm pure mentally sound. G59 in the fucking house, I'll be hardcore after the show. I'll get through a square door if they want to go. Guaranteed I'll come after you, daft.
punch you to get one fucking chance with me. You think I'll be a bear boss? I'm only back on you. Fuck your family, I'm drugged up on Bob Nassie. You think your dog ran away? What a fucking funny. Get rid of the creature, I'm full of your family. Your bar, my mama, the arse back was pragmatic. Hand back, grab me, find it, hand and ask to sit in Cavi, savvy. Still your golf club, stop it, caddy. Hand wants to battle me, I'll do bad, yeah, your ass and parsley. Happy, hardly, jam with no swatly. You want to stop me, but you can't, I'm archy. Bless you, pin, I'm smart, I'm on the end, I shoot and down me. I wreck my rule, apparently, I slit your fruit and run away. Sniff, cook at parties, play mango, be your granny. You want to kick off more, but you can't. Yes, Your boss, I'll be schooling your floor, shooting your phones like I am my security force. Skew as a boar, I walk out when I'm a sport, getting into smoking soap, I'm cooking coke. My ambition was to shoot the boat, but then once I cooked the crack, I wrapped it up and sold it to the pupils that were soon smacked. Fuck looking back, it passed as it passed, got into two packs, and started busting calves in my cat's ass. Class act, but my expenditure's caps, and some middle winkling ass, the conservatives back. I got left and I did it like flat, depressed, and that will be fanny's very waist angle. And I'm headed in stacks If I'm ready, you might as well get stabbed You and me, I'm sweet to fall of heavy bands I'll cut your legs off Clean 20% of it, man Half your dad's credit card Fucking dead shot, get laid up in that sand Stop talking shit, my accomplishments Above average, job will be sweet I fucking want to stand in fishness My phraseology will make you walk away Punch you eat, I punch to your face Plug you with apostrophes Full stop, you just spread his long sausages G59, I'll see my show back in stories I ride right, on the gout, sniff white and drink prime Or the owl, ring or the owl Yes, man Styles a lot healthier than my lifestyle. Archie Bishop G59. <laughs> Get to fuck. Aye, that was a good take, Archie. What? Sell down! Fucking kill him! Aye, aye! No, no, seriously! Just fucking chill out! Just chill the fuck out! For fuck's sake! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,